On the left side, we have some basic shapes. We happen to have a rectangle tool. We have a circle tool. And we have a freehand tool that works the way most Bezier drawing tools do with a click and then a click and a drag like this. You go ahead and select it, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, return to the first point and it closes our shape. A couple notes here. Let's go ahead and let's delete these one at a time. I'm going to start here with the circle, but before I grab the circle, notice I'm going to touch the text first. With the text selected, when I go in and draw my circle, Marquee inherits the way something else is already pre-built. So this is a great way, if you've designed something, to make future items be the same. When I grab the square tool with the circle tool selected, it's going to match the outline, the drop shadow, the gradient. But when I don't have it selected, and I grab the rectangle tool, it draws me a fresh rectangle. I'm going to grab the edit tool, E for edit. I'm going to delete the other two objects. I'm going to take my rectangle here and I'm going to change its color. I'm going to give it to a nice blue. I'm going to say base color blue. The same concept that we talked about earlier. If you're going to change, use a gradient, don't use a base color because they kind of combine with each other. I'll also create for myself a circle. We're going to need this a little bit later. It's going to match that blue and I'm going to change it and match the blue because I had it selected when I drew. And I'm going to take here the shape tool, and I'm just going to draw a freehand shape with nothing selected. Click and drag, click and drag. Hard click creates a corner, click creates a corner, click creates a corner. And I'll come back to the original point and it will close that shape. These elements all can have everything applied to it the same way text can. So I can go ahead and change the edge property. And again, as the warning, you've got to change it to at least MC borders so you can see it. You can give these elements drop shadows, as well as giving them softness. So this makes it pretty easy for you to create items pretty, in, pretty intuitively. The one thing I'll point out that I think is less than intuitive, and I'm going to go ahead here and just stretch this out wider. We'll see about a little bit more about reshaping stuff in the next section, is that an element like this, I'd like it to have round corners. And to do that, to take this object, I go up to the set corner radius, and I can adjust it to anything I'd like. I'd like to set it to 50, and it has nice round corners to it. Perfect for what will be my lower third a little bit later.